insanely dangerous movie sets. <laughs> There's a funny story here where this guy, um, the one that just kicked her, um, he wouldn't hit her with the stick, and he was he didn't want to hit a woman. Now watch this, real, <laughs> real, <laughs> and real. <laughs> And shoots, the guy goes, Phew. the rope splits, and the horse says, I'm not making movies anymore, and he takes off with me on it. <laughs> and as the last car goes by, out of each door of the train was a, an iron wedge where you could step off and step on. Yeah. And if I had raised my head four inches, I'd have been decapitated. Oh. What they hadn't counted on was somebody coming out of their house, getting in their car, and driving into our shop. That's a real gunshot. We'd really be shooting that gun toward the camera. It was insane. You know, that we're responsible. You can see that real glass flying at the actress. Yeah. <laughs> Nowadays, safety officers wouldn't That's... let you do that. Because she had her white contact lenses, it really had no idea where I was. So she would just come flailing at me with a, a knife in her hand and uh, a hope and a prayer. So it was a little more interesting sort of acting with blind, insane people with knives in their hands. That's where you're not really acting. You're like, get that knife away from my face. He put his heel through my rib cage. I had a, a blood clot under my rib. You were under this water for a long time. I know, big lungs. You know, it was a freezing day, so that was quite cold, that water was, you know, because you couldn't have hot water because it would steam. I was like being in a netherworld under there and sort of like half drowning and being beaten on the back. It was so weird. It was really... Horrific. When they got those things on, I said, you know, Stan, we have to go because I can't take that. You're supposed to be lying flat on your back with these things and not watching movies. And you can see, you know, on this shot, I'm looking at the screen, looking up, my eyes moving and it's passing over the metal and my cornea is getting scratched. Then they clamped like lid locks on the eyes so that I could not shut them, no matter how hard I tried. It seemed a bit crazy to me. But I let them get on with what they wanted to get on with. Did you experience kind of, you know, post discomfort as it were? Discomfort? I had to have a shot of um, morphine. This shot, the live, the saw is live, and I told Bill, uh, don't move, and I promise you I won't hit you, but if you flinch, you're dead. And uh, the saw is live, and the saw blade, the chain is about three inches from his head. Now, poor Marilyn here. You know, you had a stunt double go out the window and fall two feet into a mattress, and then you dropped her off the roof so that the landing looked authentic. <laughs> <laughs> While they're all sort of getting ready to shoot it, I turned away from everybody and stripped the tape off the knife. 
and, and the tube, the blood tube, and then actually just cut her. And, uh, and the reason was, at this point, we were insane, and now we're, we're, now we're 18 hours into this 27-hour day. <laughs> and, and she's ruined anyway. I mean, she's yeah, so buggered Yeah, up. she's no good. <laughs> this is the one scene there's really no acting going on. I certainly lost any sense that I was play acting. Lost any sense of that, and I really thought I was trying to kill her. Just some things you gotta do. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. Seems like you like watching stuff. If that's the case, please come to UCB Sunset Theater and see me, Jack O'Brien, and my not brother, Daniel O'Brien, uh, and other cracked people, presumably, along with Georgia Hartstark and Karen Kilgariff, the hosts of the My Favorite Murder podcast, as well as guests on one of our most popular episodes of the Crack Podcast. Uh, we're going to be talking about murder. We're going to be talking about mayhem. We're going to be talking serial killers. We're going to be talking urban legends that happen to be true. We're going to, uh, those are mostly synonyms. I've just heard that listing things is uh, good for punctuating your sales pitch. Uh, anyways, uh, it is January 14th, 7 p.m. Be there or be murdered. I can't say that, can I?